G'day guys and welcome to the Melbourne Power Equipment YouTube channel. Today I'll be running through how to service a Honda EU20i and an EU22i carby. Okay, so once the carby is off the generator like this, the tools will need to do the service. The Phillips head screwdriver, pointy nose pliers, a flat blade screwdriver with a thin head, and a 10mm socket and ratchet. And of course you'll need the little service kit. Okay, so when removing the carby from the generator, you will still have this wire attached to the generator, which is for the electric motor on top of the carby, which controls the throttle. To remove the wire from the carby, this top protective cover, just squeeze the sides in, that will just unclip. And this little plug here will just pull straight out. Okay, the next step is to grab yourself a little container just to pop your little bits and pieces in so they don't go missing. A handy little tip too, when you're removing the carby, just clamp off your fuel line just with some fuel clamps, just so no fuel leaks into the bottom of the generator. Okay, so now we will remove all of the fuel lines, which will just all pull off. A little breather at the top. Okay, we have a little clip here, which just holds the breather in. That just pulls off. Okay, next we'll take this white plastic part off the top of the carby, which holds the electric motor, which controls the throttle. We have two Phillips head screws, which we need to undo. Now, when undoing the last screw, just hold this plastic piece down onto the carby so it doesn't fall off. Now the screws are loose. Inside the top of the carby here, there is a little spring which sits in between the electric motor arm and the throttle arm on the carby. So when we pull this top part off, that spring tends to go flying. So just be cautious, just pop your hand over it when you take it off. Rightio, and there's that little spring there. There's the two screws that came out. And the top plastic part. Okay, the choke can stay in doesn't need to come out. Next we will undo the idle screw. Now to take the idle jet out, which is this little black bit of plastic here, get some long nose pliers underneath it and it'll pop up. Okay, next we'll take the drain screw out. And now the bolts on the bottom of the carby, just with that 10mm socket. And then pull the bowl off. Now this would be a good point to see what kind of condition your carby is in. There's a lot of dirt and debris in the bottom of that bowl, just in there. And you've had a lot come through the fuel system, so that'll need a good clean out and so will your carby. Okay, next we take the float out, this little pin here. Push that through and that just slides out. Then your float and your needle come out as one piece. Next we remove the o-ring. Okay, 
Okay, now we'll undo the emulsion tube and the jet out of the inside of the carby, just with your flat blade screwdriver. Now these parts are made of brass and they do chip very easy, so just be careful with this one. Once that's undone, they just pop straight out. Okay, your carby is now fully dismantled. So you have your body, the bowl, two jets, and the idle jet. All these parts will need to be cleaned thoroughly. Just with some carby cleaner or brake cleaner in an aerosol can works perfectly. Okay, now that the carby is all clean, we are ready to rebuild it. Just make sure your workspace is nice and clean when rebuilding to save any contaminants getting into the carby. Okay, now we grab the service kit. Just empty that one out. Now we'll start to rebuild. Okay, the first step is popping the emulsion tube and the jet back in. So with the emulsion tube, the long part, just there at the top, goes into the carby first. And then with the jet, we've got the little cutouts for the screwdriver. They face the outside. Now you grab your flat blade screwdriver and do that up. It doesn't need to go too tight. That's it. Okay, next we'll pop the needle and float back in. So just as you're going, make sure that it's in good condition. If you need to, just give it a nice clean wipe over before you reinstall it. Make sure the little spring above the needles in good condition and that the tip of the needle is still in good condition as well. And that just slides in, that needle going straight into the seat there. Now we have our pin, just goes straight in there, it just sits in there like that. Okay, next we will put our O-ring on sits in the groove just like that and now the bowl which is now nice and clean sits on the top just make sure that o-ring stays in position while you pop that on and with these ones the drain will face out the same side as the choke We have our bolt here. We need to pop the new gasket on there. So take the old one off. Pop the new one on. Then just do that bolt up. Again, not too tight. Okay, next we have our little drain screw. We need to replace the o-ring on that. Just grab that o-ring off the pair of pliers. Make your new o-ring. And that just fits over just like that. Okay, now we reinstall the drain screw just back in the bottom of the carving. Let's do that up with your flat blade screwdriver. Now the little idle jet also has a rubber o-ring just at the bottom which will need to be changed. Just grab your pliers, grab that o-ring off, grab the new one, and just slip that over. Okay, now we need to put the idle jet back into the carby. 
These O-rings are always pretty tight going back in on the Hondas, so just dab a tiny little bit of oil around the O-ring as you pop it back in. Just like that. Okay, the fiddly bit next. Now we have a tiny little spring and a top bit of plastic. Now what I do, pull this little black part off there, pop the spring on that and I pop this in the carby first and it just makes life a lot easier. It goes into the carby that way so you can see and that is with the little lip on the bottom there facing down onto the throttle shaft so then you pop that in so it sits in there just like that so there's your spring just there and that black little bit of plastic now we have our spring installed need to install the top motor. So just hold that in the wide open throttle position. Just take note, that part there on the motor needs to sit into there on the top of the throttle. So they all just slip in together, just like that. Just make sure your throttle all moves okay. We'll have a slight bit of resistance because it is moving a motor. Now we pop our screws back in. Okay, next we'll pop our little clip here which holds the breather pipe on. It's got a little cutout on the corner there, which just sits on that front part of the carby there. Just like that. Just now we pop the breather line back in. up in there, it sits about flush with the top or thereabouts, and the other breather line just on there. And we have the carby drain line, it's on there as well. Okay, we now take this back to the generator and start reinstalling it. I've got a wire here that you need to put back on. That just pushes in. And you'll see on the wire there which way it bends and then it will go into that little hole just in there just like that okay we'll now pop the top cover on so the flat part there which goes along that part there so that just sits over just make sure all the little tabs get into little holes and we'll push it down and on that's it our carby is now serviced now it's always a good idea too, just to throw some light into your fuel tank, just to make sure there's no water or debris sitting in the bottom of the tank. Thanks heaps for watching today's video on servicing your Honda EU20i and EU22i carburetor. Take care and we'll see you next time.